Now the first five letters are given. You have to figure out what the rest of the code is. <laughs> <laughs> you have to decide how you're going to escape and which door you should shoot. If I just run really fast, I bet it won't hit me. Don't worry. I <laughs> Why did Michelle lie to her? Because Michelle is crazy. I don't know. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bot. Yeah! Today we're seeing if Justin can solve some crazy riddles. Justin will now be showing several different riddles. If he can guess the answer to most of them correctly, he gets to play a special game with prizes at the end. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many of these you can solve, guys. Check out the merch. It'll be linked down below. You can grab Boxy and all the stuff we're wearing. And let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this haunted house riddle. Oh, man. All right. Max was always interested in his weird neighbor's house. Why? When he wasn't home, Max decided to break into his house. Max, you ain't. Idiot. <laughs> All rooms look strange and frightening, but Max kept on searching the house. What is he looking for? I don't really know. When he entered the room, the door slammed shut on its own. He found himself in a hall with four doors. One of the doors had a zombie. One of them had a block equipped with a motion sensor. It will crush you if you enter the room. Okay. There's a dark room with no exit. Okay. And there's a laser blaster with a motion sensor. <laughs> you have to decide how you're going to escape and which door you should choose. I'm not helping this kid. <laughs> Why he break in and break the law to go explore some haunted house? Maybe he was hungry. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Off the top I'm just gonna say the dark room because you don't know what's in it. Could be some donuts, could be some nuggets. Do you think that's what's in the dark room? You don't know. <laughs> I definitely know they're not in the other rooms. I'm just saying, okay, the zombie obviously not a good idea unless you're trying to become a snack. Literally. <laughs> the block has a motion sensor, the laser pointer also has a motion sensor. I mean, it's probably gotta be the dark room. But I do have to keep my mind open-minded. Think about <laughs> the other options. <laughs> I will be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking this riddle has something to do with these motion sensors because two of the doors have motion sensors. So you think maybe breaking the motion sensor or something like that might be part of the riddle? That's what I'm thinking. So to simulate that, I now have a giant block. You can hold this. Okay. I can come in and prove as Spy Justy that there's no motion sensor which will ever detect my presence. <laughs> so pretend this is the room with the motion sensors. If I just run really fast, I bet it won't hit me. Don't worry. I <laughs> <laughs> Don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's see. Three, two, uh huh. What? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Your plan is to generate enough speed to where you can run through the room with the block motion sensor, and it won't get you. I am trained professionally to do this at the Spy Academy. Who's your spy teacher? Your mom. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> she trained me. She said your mission is to. Play along so that my son has a friend. <laughs> I've been undercover all these years. She Adam. said that? You better watch out. I'm getting through this door. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not that room. Okay, it's not that one. Which means we now just have to try it with the laser pointers. I was also trained about this at the Spy Academy. Okay, so I these are supposed to be the laser pointers? Yes, notice how they do not touch me. I will... <laughs> I am now going to sneak my way through this web of lasers. Three, two... Oops. <laughs> One. <laughs> you kicked my neck. Are you kidding me? That's not my fault. Why? Cause it healed. <laughs> well, if I failed, it's only cause your mom didn't teach me properly. I really do think it's that dark room, but I think what the real answer is gonna be is just gonna be like he's gonna take off his shoe and like throw it at the motion sensor like one in each room and then run or something i don't know something cheesy like that okay let's see what the answer is what door should he choose the answer is max has to open 
door two. Okay, the motion sensor. And lure the zombie out. Uh, then he must hide in uh, the dark room. Uh, He'll crush the zombie. What? And then he can escape through door one. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> well, Justin, you actually got that one wrong. Okay, that riddle was okay, but I could actually come up with a better one. Really? Now, everybody really seemed to like the spot the difference game from last time. So we're going to do another one of those at the end of the episode. Well, and you're going to DM some people to get it right? <laughs> I might. Yeah, let's go. Hey, watch till the end, guys. See if you can solve that. But for now, we're going to move on to the next riddle, which is this fitness riddle. Oh, okay. This is going to be easy for me. Why? Because you said <laughs> it's a thickness riddle. <laughs> oh, I said it was a fitness oh, riddle. Oh, a fitness. Like the gym. Oh, I'm getting this one wrong. Just mark it wrong. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what are you there? I'm done. I'm skipping You don't even want to try? I, it's a fitness riddle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to try. <laughs> We're going to move on to the next riddle right now. Oh, you got to at least try. I think you're good at fitness. Fitness donut <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. At least try. Tim really wanted to join the new luxury fitness club. Oh, man. Okay. That opened downtown. Okay. The only problem is that to get through the front door of the gym, you have to answer <laughs> a riddle. What kind of luxury fitness club does that? Well, they work out your body in the gym and they work out your mind outside the gym. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Now, he says he thinks it won't be too hard. The guy in line before him goes up to the security guard. The guard says, six. What? And the guy answers back, three. Uh, what is this, a math equation? The guard lets him in. So that was the right answer. Six and three, okay. The next lady goes up and the guard says, 12. And the girl says, six. And uh, she goes in. Okay. Now it's his turn. Yep. The guard says, four. Four. And Tim feels pretty good. He thinks he got it. He says, Two. Okay, yeah, because just half. Wrong. What? <laughs> What is the right answer? Okay, so what should Tim have said to let himself into the gym? <laughs> Tim, you need to find a new gym. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe these numbers have to do with like exercise. If you want a six pack, how many reps you gotta do? <laughs> and this guy's like three. You three, six. clearly have never been to a gym, have you? <laughs> you clearly have never been on a date. <laughs> but I don't throw that around too high. How many reps you gotta do to get a 12? <laughs> and she's like six. So you think he says how many reps you have to do to get a four pack of abs? Yeah. That's what. I actually have this pretty light dumbbell that might help you solve the riddle. Okay. Okay, uh, here you go. Uh, 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 careful. <laughs> <laughs> It's like five pounds. <laughs> Just curl it once. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. Okay, now let it down. Let it down. Okay, let me take this back. <laughs> Did okay. that help? Yes, it did. What did that help with? I am now ripped. <laughs> you might have your dumbbell, <laughs> but I have a donut bell, and I bet you can't do even one rep of this. That's not how you do a rep with a donut bell. <laughs> how do you do it? Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, enough goofing around, Adam. Maybe it's because there's three letters in the word six. S-I-X. Yeah, so that works. Three. Now, for this one, she says six. There's six letters in the word 12. T-W-E-L-V-E. -E. Six. Okay. So for four, it's four. Because four, F-O-U-R, has four letters. Yes. Okay, let's see if that's the right answer. No way. He should have said oh four. Oh, go. Nice. Let's go. Okay, nice. Justin got that one right. And we're going to go on to the next riddle right now, which is this dog riddle. Dog riddle. Okay. okay. Now, Gemma is six years old. Uh-huh. One day, Michelle came up to her. Uh-huh. Gemma, your mom just called me. Uh-huh. Your dog got hit by a car and died. <laughs> Why would you show me this riddle? Yeah, well, this wait. This is depressing. She says, I'm so, so sorry. Gemma burst into tears. This is sad. In sad. half an hour. Michelle came back again. Who is Michelle? Michelle says, stop crying, dear. Your dog is actually okay. Why did Michelle lie to her? Now, you have to figure that out. What? Why did Michelle tell her that her dog got hit by a car and then 30 minutes later said, actually, your dog is fine? Because <laughs> Michelle is crazy. I don't know. Who does something like this? This makes no sense. Did she just lie to her to get her to stop crying? No. I think you should look a little closer at the riddle. 
<laughs> you are such trash. What? What do you see? Is this because there's a camera and lights next to her? She's a child actress. And the manager came in to make her cry on camera and then told her it was okay. Who does that? You think the answer is that Gemma is an actor? This is exactly what you do to me. How? You come in here with the camera and the lights and everything and you say, hey, Justy, I have some donuts for you. <laughs> and then I get all happy and then we film the show and then you say, just kidding, I lied. So you would be happy on camera. Okay, well, let's see if you got it right. The answer is Gemma is an actress. She had to cry in that scene. What? Dude, this is literally like my life. Where's my donut, Dumbo? I lied to you. <laughs> you would be happy on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we can go to the next riddle right now, which is this evil clown riddle. Evil clown. Okay. Several people died from laughter in the city. Why? Yeah. The clown was taking people and knocking them out by telling a funny joke. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> he just whispering some joke. Yeah, but one of the victims survived. No way. Why? Why did that one person survive? No way. What did he do? Dude, am I in that clown's <laughs> lair right now? No. No way! Oh, no! What? It's the evil wait, clown! Wait, 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 wait! What is that? The clown has green hair in the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> the, the clown is <laughs> releasing a toxic gas. <laughs> That's the hairspray. Oh, okay. That you oh. put in. Am I the clown? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> don't move, don't move. Wait, wh why? The evil clown has stuff all over his lips, don't move. Mm. Let's put a smile on that face. Adam has once again became Pennywise. So this is gonna help you solve the riddle? Yes, it is. Now, Adam, go ahead and tell me your funniest joke. Okay, and if you die of laughter, then maybe you'll solve the riddle. I will have solved the riddle, but I will have lost my life. <laughs> How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I have no idea. <laughs> Ten tickles. Because <laughs> an octopus has tentacles. <laughs> Are you still alive? I wish I wasn't. <laughs> I literally almost blacked out from the cringe. He might be the killer clown after all. Okay, okay. Now, did that help you get any closer to the riddle? Yes, it actually did. How? Because I realized when you said that, my brain said no. <laughs> and I wish I never heard that joke. Which tells me maybe the guy survived because he never heard the joke. Maybe the guy couldn't hear. Like he's deaf? Yeah, maybe. Okay, that's a good guess. Now okay. let's see what the answer is. Because he's deaf. Oh, nice. Let's go. Okay, Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this alien riddle. Aliens? Okay. <laughs> Timmy is a math genius. Huh? He's really into computers and technology. One day, he accidentally found secret messages from Martian. Bruh. Dude, they said they wanted to destroy the planet. No. <laughs> Timmy decided to deactivate the threat by entering the deactivation code. Dude, Timmy saved us all. <laughs> Thanks, Timmy. Now, the first five letters are given. You have to figure out what the rest of the code is. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dressed? Back up! Why do you back up? What? Don't attack me! I have my space blasters! <laughs> Put this on! This is very scary! Luckily, I have my trusty space blaster back up! I'm only gonna ask nicely one time! What is the code? I don't know! I'm not gonna ask again! <laughs> Tell me! I don't know! I bet these are the names of Adam's <laughs> ex-girlfriends! What were their names? Marsheen! <laughs> Stop laughing. None of this has helped you at all. I'm gonna call for some reinforcements. <laughs> <laughs> Space Explorer Cookie is now joining me. He says, back up. Back up. Yes, Cookie? Cookie has some good advice. He says we should make it a little bit more space-like so you'll be more comfortable and maybe you'll open up. Okay, it's a little bit darker like in space. Cookie says, how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Ow. He says, tell us the code. Hey, tell us stop. the code. I'm not going to tell Do you the it. code. Ah, I'm getting angry. I, I'm <laughs> angry. 
I've had enough of your games, Adam. You think you can solve it? <laughs> Cookie, with his 900 IQ, has just noticed a detail which you have overlooked. There are planets in the background. What does that tell you? <laughs> These are the letters of the planets. Really? I'm a genius. Really? Yes. What does it stand for then? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Which means what? The last three are planets. Which are what planets? I remember as a little child, they taught us a phrase to remember the order of the planets. What is that and phrase? And I remember, that is the only thing I remember from school <laughs> because it had to do with food. <laughs> what is it? It is my very educated mother just served us nine pizzas and there's no pizzas for Pluto because now Pluto is no longer a planet. So you think that the last three letters are S-U-N? Yes, S-U-N. <laughs> Let's see. What is the code? It is S-U-N. <laughs> Okay, Jesse got four out of the five riddles correct. Let's go. That means that he won, dude. Okay, Let's Jesse go. gets to spin the wheel. Let's see what his prize is. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Wait, before I spin, guys, I'm going to put up my riddle to spot the difference. Okay. Comment below how many differences you see and what you think they are. I might pick a few people who get it right and DM them on Instagram. Okay. Let's go. Ten tickles. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Okay, if Justin wins, he gets Adam's entire wallet. Did you okay. get all my money? Yes, let's go. I have my last dollar here. Nice. I'm going to take this and go get a gym membership and also maybe some donuts. <laughs> <laughs>